Now, in this lecture, we are going to talk about police functions in Python. Before we move and understand police functions, let me first explain how to create a command in Python. So you can notice here, I just created a command using this hash. In Python, you can create a command to ignore a statement. Command can be used to explain Python code. The main purpose of using command is to explain Python code. Command can be used to make the code more readable. Command also can be useful to prevent execution when testing a code. The simple way to create a command is using hash. Let's say you want to create a command for this expression. You have a statement x multiply by y. Now here you want to explain this statement. You can simply create here a command just like this. You can start with the hash and then you can specify explanation of this expression. Now when you execute this statement, Python will ignore these comments and will not execute these lines. For example, let's say if I create here x is equal to 10 and then I'm going to say here y is equal to 10 and I'm going to just print x multiply by y. When I execute this statement, I'm going to just have the result of this print statement. Python will not execute both these lines because this is just a command. I just use this line to express these statements. This is just the explanation of this code. Now what if you want to add multiple lines of comments? For example, I say this is the first line and then I'm going to just add here. This is another command. Now if you just take a look at this code, then you're going to get an error message on the second line. To create multi-line command, you can use triple double quotation mark. Let me show you. I'm going to just remove this hash from here and use triple double quotation here just like this and in this triple double quotation mark i'm gonna write my command so when i execute this statement python will ignore both these lines you're not limited to only create two or three lines that's upon you how many lines you want to add as a command in the python code creating a command is always a best practice because command explain your code so i'm gonna just get rid of this statement now let's understand what is functions a function is a little program that you can use to perform a specific action Python has a lot of predefined functions that can do many wonderful things. For example, we use exponential operator just like this. In the previous lecture, we understand the power of this. There is a built-in function to calculate the power instead of using this operator. You can use a pow function to get the power. And in the sprint, I'm going to say pow. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to get the power of 3. And I'm going to just specify here second parameter 2. So this pow function is going to return the power of 3. When I execute this statement, I'm going to have 9. For example, APS gives the absolute value of a number. And this round function returns the floating point number to the nearest integer. Now, when I execute this statement, I'm going to have 20 and 4. So, as you can notice, this is the minus 20 and ABS will return the absolute value of 20. And the round function is going to return the nearest integer value. So, the nearest integer value of 3.6 is 4. So I'm going to get 4 as a result. You're not limited to only use the built-in function in Python. Round is a built-in function. You don't have to create it. Python allows you to create user-defined functions as well. You can make your own functions too. Therefore, we often refer to a standard function such as round as a built-in function. We'll talk about how to create user-defined function later in this course. Now, for an exercise, try to change the value of this round and this ABS function and see the result. Now, let's take a look at what is modules in Python. This is a very important topic to understand when working with Python. Consider module as the same as code library, a file that containing a set of functions you want to include in your application. A module has a set of functions contained within it. To extend and use predefined code, we can use module. We have predefined modules in Python. Or if you want, you can create your own module as well in the Python. Now, let's take a look at a very simple example of module. So let's take a look at how you can import module in Python. To import module, we're going to start with import statement. The import statement used to import a predefined module from the Python. So I'm going to import math module here. So I'm going to say here math. So this is a predefined module in Python. And from this module, I'm going to access the seal function. So down here, I'm going to say print math dot seal. And I'm going to specify here value 45.6. Now when I execute this statement, I'm going to have 46. The seal is a function accept a decibel number and returns the integer number. You can also notice we use this seal function from this math module. We first imported this module using import statement. Then we use the module name and call a predefined function seal. 
The map module has several other useful functions though. The opposite of seal is floor function. So I'm going to just get rid of the seal and I'm going to say here floor. And when I execute this statement, I'm going to have 45. Now we can understand what is parameter and arguments when we cover the functions. But just for now, just understand this is what we call a function and this is the parameter of this function. We are going to access this function using math module. If I remove this math module from this statement, I'm going to have an error message. You can also call this math module as object. And this is what we call a method of this object. We can access this method only using math object. So I'm going to call this math as an object and this function is going to be a method of this math object. Now, if you are sure you won't use more than one function from this module, you can use the variant of this import statement. For example, I want to use the sqrt method from the math object. So I'm going to just get rid of this import statement and here I'm going to say from math import sqrt. So this is a method I'm going to use from this math object. Just for that, I'm going to just get rid of this statement right from here and now I don't want to specify this math object to access this square root method. So here instead of specifying this math, I can just simply say square root and then specify value here. And when I execute the statement, I'm going to have the square root of 9. Now there are many more predefined modules are available in Python. Now for an exercise, using this math object, get the factorial method and use it in your Python program. We have factorial method in the math object. Just import it in the Python program and use it in the print statement and see the result.